Hi, in this series, I am going to show you animations in React Native by using React Native Deanimated and React Native Gesture Handler. So, by using React Native Deanimated, you can run the animations directly in the UI thread rather than using the JavaScript thread, which helps us to avoid the frame drops that might happen in the low end devices. So, as you can see, we are going to create such a beautiful animation. And in this animation, we are going to learn spring animation, timing animation, spring animation, gesture animation, and a lot of other things. So, please follow this series and you will be able to learn a lot of things in React Native Reanimated and React Native Gesture Handler. And you can use these things in any of your projects. Okay. So, as you can see, we are able to drag this object and it closes, and then we can use the fling animation. As you can see, this is not working on the left side, but it works only on the right side. And it comes up and then it closes again. So let's start. First, uh, this is our project and uh, this is our package.json file. As you can see, I have only installed React Native Gesture Handler and React Native Reanimated and React Native SVG for the close icon in a new React Native project, okay? And this is the React Native Reanimated configuration. If you follow the documentation, then you will find it or you can uh, just check out from my branch. I'll be uh, giving a link to the repository in the description. This is my app.js file and as you can see here, there's only gesture animation file here and this is my folder structure inside the source folder I have the assets and uh, the gesture animation.js file inside the assets there is the icon the close icon that I'll be using so we are in our gesture animation.js file and in order to use any gesture animation we need to wrap our component with gesture handler root view and it can have the same styles as our view styles it is similar to view only and now as you can see i've already imported uh, all the things if you are using my repository then you uh, will be able to find all these things already here so now uh, let's add uh, animated.view here and this uh, this will be our object Okay, the ball will have a width. Uh, let's add the width at the top so that we'll be able to manage it. So let ball size or maybe size. Okay, ball size is funny, right? Okay, so con size equal to hundred. Con um, Let's uh, bring the width of the screen. We might need it. I'm just adding a bunch of styles. So now we'll be adding a styles for the animated styles for this object. So animated ball equal to use animated style. We'll be using this hub uh, which gives us all the and we can return any animated styles here which we can add in our object styles and it will work okay and we'll be creating this uh, values first so we'll be using the use shared value that we use and we can be animated earlier we were using new animated dot value if you remember in react native we use that uh, so now uh, as you can see we have created an offset x and offset y for our x and y values 
and in addition to that we'll be uh, creating a save value okay we can save the current value of the object So our translate x will be having the offset dot offset x dot value which will change based on the position of the object and our translate y will be having the offset y dot value and we'll be adding this inside an array here like this and it will work now should work right but no we haven't added any gesture till now okay we need to add a gesture we've just added the styles for them but we are not updating the gesture or the position okay the position is still zero zero so now for that we need to use the gesture detector i'm using gesture detector if somebody uses pen gesture handler then they can use them there are many ways to do the gesture animation I'm just using one of them so yeah so gesture detector will be having a gesture uh, property and we'll be creating this drag gesture so const drag gesture equal to gesture dot I'm already imported it no worries gesture dot pan okay and dot on begin next uh, can add on update and we'll be getting a event which we can use to update the offset x value so offset x the value equal to e dot translation x plus save value that will be saving later so save ball dot value dot x okay at first it is zero if you remember we have initialized it with zero and offset y dot value now we'll be adding another on and it will be giving another callback and here we will be updating the save call that value equal to x offset x dot value and y will be having offset y dot value and we need to maybe close the application and restart it as you can see it's not working it should work so okay but first let's put on the on finalize and it will also return a callback and you can add anything if you want here i'm just leaving it like this for now Maybe we'll need it later. Okay, I'll close the application and restart it. So now, as you can see, okay, there's something wrong with this animation we did it yeah e dot translation y it should be okay now it should work properly okay now it's working properly great so as you can see this is working now we can remove this one as we are not using it right now maybe we'll need to later we can add it again 
Okay, the animation is working properly. The drag animation, and we can use use spring here. It works really well and gives us a nice smooth uh, animation uh, with a little bit springiness. I really like it. Even though you can, you can't use it every time. It, uh, it looks hard. Okay, so it's oh sorry, it's not use spring. It's with spring. Okay. It's with spring, with timing, with delay, this kind of animations. Okay. As you can see, this is smooth transition. Just feels really good, this cool transition, right? So you can add uh, several properties. There are several properties like mass, you can add mass, uh, and, uh, and there are other properties as well. Uh, like stiffness uh, you can add stiffness also here but I'm not going to go to such depth right now you can uh, add several properties from the recommendation and check and work with them uh, see how you like it as you can see the animation is working quite smoothly even without the width spring thanks for watching please check part 2 of this animation